Hello everyone, today we're going to have a go at overclocking the AMD Athlon X2 270 processor. Stock speed is 3.4 GHz. As you can see we are using the stock cooler with the assistance of that blue fan there. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay. So as you can see, I've already bumped up the voltage to 1.4250. So now let's change the multiplier. Change frequency. We'll go up to five. Save and exit. Wait for the reboot. Okay, so we've started up. As you can see, the voltage has gone up to 1.424. And as for the core speed, that has gone up to 3. 1486 megahertz, so it's only a slight overclock, but I think we might be able to push it just a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, we've bumped up the CPU frequency to 225, so I'm going to exit and reboot and see what that gives us. Now, before anyone cries, oh, you're overclocking wrong, oh, da, 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 da. I don't care. I bought this chip a couple of years ago, I'm due to an upgrade, so I'm just going to have a little fun with it. I don't care if it ruins it, but it'll be interesting to see what it does. So just bear with me, and yeah. Okay, so we'll just get... CPU-Z to start up and see what we're at. Okay, so we are now at clock speed of... can't really get it to focus on it. Yeah. Anyway, clock speed of 3.824 gigahertz. Everything still seems to be going fine. Interesting. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the BIOS and up it up a bit more, see what we can do. Okay, so I bumped it up to 235, so we'll go for a, another restart and see what happens. Okay, I think we found her max. Um, she's not booting. So I'm going to have to reset the BIOS and just take it back a little bit, I think. Okay, so I just reset the file, so as you can see, time's wrong. Um, so we'll go back to here. We can see everything's back to default, so uh, let's see what we can do. We want to turn back to manual. Uh, bump the voltage back up to where it was. This time we'll go for, uh, we'll go back to um, basically where it was, uh, I think we we're about 220, 225, that's right, so we'll go to 227 because it was on 225 before I bumped it right up and it crashed, so hopefully that will sort her out. Um, yeah, so we'll try and boot. Okay, well, it's got to the bio screen, so that's a good start. So this time I only added another two onto it, so... Promising so far. I'm hoping to get 3.9 out of it. I don't know yet. Okay, so we've got a CPU-Z, hoping not.
news to take the time. Okay, so we're looking at 386.1.08 megahertz. Alright, so we just reopen. Okay, so I've succeeded in getting my 3.9 gigahertz. It's currently at 3910.97. Um, we're just doing some general things that the system's been a little bit stuttery. So what I'm going to do is now open up Prime 95 and see how it'll do during the stress test. Right, so I've got Prime 95 running, as you can see. I've caused that maximum load. Before I started it, the CPU temperature itself was only 16 degrees idle, so that was quite surprising, being the stock cooler. Um, it's now up to 30 degrees. So we'll just let that run for oh, half an hour or so. And Okay, so Prime95 has been running for about 20 minutes now. And the CPU temperature hasn't gone any higher than 35 degrees, so that's not too bad for a stock cooler. Always was a cool running CPU anyway, but... Oh, we'll do go for another half an hour or so. Okay, so Prime95 has been running for a little over an hour now. And... Uh, CPU temperature hasn't moved from 35 degrees, so quite wrapped about that. Um, so I think that's pretty stable. I won't bother trying to push it anymore because I don't have adequate cooling, but um, hit the like button if you want to see me overclock the new CPU when it gets here. Thanks for watching. Just a little update. So after the video, I thought I'd run Cinebench again after the overclock and see whether it scored better or not. So we'll just let this finish. Done. Okay, so it scored high. The previous score was 175, and that was actually with a slight overclock of 3.58 gigahertz. Now at 3.9 2 gigahertz it scored 188 so only a marginal amount but still better than nothing it's close to the intel core i5 3317u so again thanks for watching